never ridden a skateboard before. Yeah. And yeah. it was flying. Coming back here, we've got our bagger machine. This thing is great. Helps us to uh, bag up all those little nuts and bolts and anything we really need. We just opened up our doors and let people come by, try the boards out, you know, see the facility, meet us. I was surprised by how many people were actually like comfortable enough to get on the board. Like right. the people who didn't ride before, you know? Yeah, I've had like 40 people here, so I think it was a cool turnout. And there was a majority of them rode, which I thought was cool. That one guy, he, he said he had like snowboarding experience. Right. A uh, Geo, I think his name was. He hopped on the board and he was flying. Spencer, shout out Spencer. Um, the younger kids that came with his grandma and grandpa. He's never ridden a skateboard before. Yeah. And yeah. he was flying. Yeah, no, I gave him like a 10 to 15 minute, not even 10 minute explanation, probably like a five minute lesson on how to ride. And then he was riding around for probably 15 minutes and then got it down. He so. picked it up like there was nothing. Yeah. So that was awesome. He's pretty young too, so. I think he, he said it's on his Christmas list now. We have a visitor. Hello. Come in. Come in. Can you do a whiteboarding? No, we're doing something better. Even better. What? Oh, shoot. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I said Nick Jonas. I was like, hey, by the way, does that guy look like Nick Jonas? <laughs> Did you know his Nick Jonas history? <laughs> no. Every time we'd go on vacation for like a solid like two or three year stint, people would be like, are you Nick Jonas? They would actually confuse me with him. I, I kind of saw the resemblance, but like- Subtle flex, but okay. No, no, no. It's not even like that. Like Disney employees would stop me when really? I was like getting on like a bus or something and they're like, are you? Or like, you look so much like him. That's funny. I, yeah. For me, yeah. What did you think of the open house? How do you think it went? I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I told you what my big takeaway was. The snowboarding thing. Yeah. Because most of these other boards are made for nothing but speed. Right. BKB is made for all terrain, the way it's set up. Yeah. And I was like, wow. Like, this is really the opportunity for the snowboarders to really have a full 12 months worth of activity. Right. Like that one guy who came, we had one guy who came who just like was a natural, yes. Jerry. And he's never ridden the board before and all of a sudden he's whipping around. I'm like, dude, what is going on? Right. He says, I'm a snowboarder. It's the same action. The conversation about the cost, yeah, which was how inexpensive what they were versus the value they portrayed in the board because it's so well named. Yeah, I mean, what was what did that guy think the board cost? Were you there for that? He said, oh, I heard it. 10 grand, I thought, right? Yeah, he said, like, he thought it was, like, 10,000. He was like, how much is it, like, 10,000 bucks? And I was like, so that board will probably run you on the high end, like, 1650. Yeah. And he, he was kind of mind blown by that. He I'd love to send a coupon to everybody that, arrived, that came yep. and said, hey. Yeah. All right, so here's our facility. We're located here in Plainview, New York. We just got these beautiful signs put up for our open house. So figured since some of you guys couldn't make it, we'll uh, show you around just through the video. Let's go check it out. All right, so here's a little front foyer area. Uh, we got a nice sign and a couch to match, um, but it's pretty simple up here. All we do is really use it to like host guests and stuff like that. So. Got the little BKB bean mascot crate right here. Um, we also got storage for two boards in here. Uh, whatever, we just need to clean up shop, make it look a little, a little bit nicer. This is really the uh, the interesting part of the room, I think. Our 3D printing station, we print a lot of pieces here. Like This is our little receiver box for our uh, Voyager remote to be able to connect to the Zenith. And then we also have some belt guards, stuff like that. We make a lot of stuff in-house that we can 3D print, so it's just nice to have these ready to go. And then we've got some nice pictures and just some little artwork of BKB and its history. All right, so this is our office. This is where we email everybody back. Um, ideation, we got a whiteboard right behind the camera. Um, but this is my desk, this is Jared's desk. We've got like our little uh, food area, our little like production area, and then we got some pictures on the wall. But basically this is just what we're working on our computers, just a comfy place to sit, talk, uh, create some ideas and what we're gonna do in the future. So this is basically just our little workspace, the most boring room in the building, but this is it. This is the warehouse. Let me uh, take you guys around and show you what we got going on here. 
Um, over here, we've got just some of our work tables, you know, if there, anything ever needs to get done or display anything, we always put them on the tables. Got some uh, preview of Lectex stuff right here. Um, the kits for kids. Coming back here, we've got our bagger machine. This thing is great. Helps us to uh, bag up all those little nuts and bolts and anything we really need. This is actually Jared's first board that he ever built. Kind of cool to have this here to see how much everything's changed um, and where it's grown from. This is where we get all our orders in. This is where we fulfill everything, find out what we need to package up, what we need to make, and then pass that. Kind of just goes into a system. So right here's our shipping shelf. Um, it's got all the materials that we need whenever we need to ship anything. Here's our shipping table. Put everything on here and then package it up. Pretty simple. And then back here, these are just our part shelves. So just got aisles and on the right and left, you got all the parts you need to put together a kit or anything past that. It's pretty simple to go through everything and kind of figure out what you need to do and everything's labeled. So it's nice and easy to kind of navigate. So here's like our little working inventory area. This is where we program all the Zenus. This is where we put together all the Voyagers. This is where we assemble the all-terrain wheels. So this is kind of where everything that isn't ready to be shipped out gets ready to be shipped out. This is where we put the grip tape on the decks and everything. You can see we have all the tools and all the different pieces we need, our soldering station. Um, so this is just kind of where everything gets worked on and ready to be shipped out to you guys. As you guys can see, we've got a bunch of stuff along these upper areas right here. Um, this is just our extra storage. So we've got all our batteries that aren't currently programmed to any Zenus up here. We've got all our different trucks and gaskets and different molds that we use, but this is just the storage that we go up and we grab things whenever things need to be restocked on our shipping shelves or anything like that. Yeah. 